Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box of the Technical Trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Tuesday the 19th of July, and it was turnaround Tuesday indeed. There's some markets ripped and strong, strongly higher. We're opening a gap and run and closing near the upper end of the range. A big day. And technicals were very strong as well, confirming the move. Let's show you a bunch of stocks that had, had uh, good days during this rally. AEHR late in the day took a pop, but more importantly, if you can see the base that it's built over the last three months. Now, Perhaps the 1135 area, if it gets to that, can lead to 1415 is on my target. AFRM, a tech trader swing, um, may have broken out today. As a matter of fact, I think it did. As you can see, that pop, a little bit of an engulfing bar, it jumped 257, almost 11%. Volume was a solid 13.5 million. And now I'm looking for a run to test the 31 range, followed by potentially high 30s. ABDL with a, a spike bottom platform breakout flag. If we should get through here, and today was a good day for it, up 64 cents or 15%. Um, we can get a run through five and a half. We're probably going to see seven and three quarters. DMTK broke out of what looks like an inverse head and shoulders, and through the moving average as well. The neckline was popped. Mine picked up the 3.1 million. Looks like it's going to run at 10.35 and then maybe get into the mid teens. EDIT steady as she goes off the bottom, but more importantly, long downtrend being taken out, retested, moving averages retested in trend line, and then a pop. Today jumping 220 or 14.7%, 2.7 million traded, the best volume in about three weeks. It looks like it's trying to, try to get up and test the 19 and then 22 range. EBTL exploded two days ago on big volume, pulled back and has an inside day today. Volume was still 7 million shares and it jumped 4%. So I'm looking for a retest and take out, perhaps a run up to six, six oh five, six and a half area, and then eight dollars is the target. Ford Motor Company is peeking its head across the declining tops line, which has been there for six, seven months. Today's volume picked up to 64 million. The stock jumped 5.35 percent, or 64 cents to 12.60. Now looking for a test of lateral resistance at 14, and eventually 16 to 16 and a half. GAN, the gaming stock, with a long downtrend, reversed yesterday, closed above the 50, came down and tested the moving averages and a trend line breakout, and then spiked up from 311 to 362, finishing 347. I was up 14 cents, 4%. Nothing huge, but we got to get to it 385 for this thing to really get going. And then I think your target's going to be probably around four and three quarters and five and three quarters. INBX coming off the low of, of, after a long downtrend. Broke out, retested the breakout point and the lateral price support that had broken. The moving areas have crossed over. Stock looks like it's headed higher. My target, 25. As you know, LAB is a tech trader swing, and I really like the look of it. It's already gone from near four to near 10. Pull back and flag now for a week and a half. If it breaks out here, 11 and a half and 14 and a half for targets. LQDA had a specially explosive day today. Is it first dipped to 338 and then ripped to 580, finishing 538. It was up 165 or 44% on big volume as well. You can see a line of resistance here. If this thing gets through the $6 range, we're probably looking at 7.5. Mara and Riot, both Bitcoin related stocks, as Bitcoin rallied today, are exploding on volume. Yesterday's breakout above the 50 day moving average and lateral price resistance uh, was very bullish as it, um, and it resulted in today's explosive. 936 to 1367 move, finishing 1355 near the upper end of the range of 379 or 39 percent, only 60 million. Right now, I'm I'm a believer in this stock. I think it's going to be 1990 and a half. And Riot, sister company, also broke out a little mini inverse head and shoulders. Buy and picked up dramatically. A little bit of resistance here. The target's nine and a half, and now we're looking at 12. QURE, tech trader swing when it broke out and flagged, it kept going. Right now, it's gone from just, let's just say this, in, in June, the low was 13. Today's high 25, almost a double. Lateral price and gap resistance come in a little bit above here at 25 and three quarters, but I think it makes it to 30. Saidu broke out of a, a six week falling channel when it tested the 50 day moving average, it exploded right off of it. 272 to 435 was a move, close 417 up 134, a 47% gain, only trading 94 million shares. 
Now we're looking for a move to five and a half and seven. SKYT broke out yesterday. We put a swing on it and it advanced an additional um, 11% today. It's a thinly traded stock, but it feels like this is headed to 12. Varu, poised to pop two consecutive narrow days in a row. It looks like it's it's got to go, but we, you're going to need to move over to 1775 with volume, then your target's 2021 to 24.5. Verve. When it popped out, we put a swing on it, exploded, and moved dramatically from about the 1718 zone to doubling to 3488 at the high today. Today's gain was 829 or 31.5%. And also, it was a day trade and blew through my day trade targets as well. Boozy came out of that base I was showing you yesterday with a pop today of 79 cents or 11%. Plan picked up to 1.6 million. Your new target now is 9.5 and 11. And finally, XBI also. Um, tracking this one along with the LABU for the biotech group. If it takes out and there's key resistance here going back a week and a half at 84.65, we should see 89 and 95 as targets. That's a look at some of the hot stocks at thetechtrader.com. This is HB signing off, wishing you a wonderful evening. Good night.